Hello, hello, it's Template here. Welcome to part 7 of 25 of the College Entrance Test Review. Credits to the Review Masters for providing me with these items. Now to continue, item 25, the product of negative 3 and negative 6 is how much larger than the sum of negative 2 and negative 7? So let's try to uh, get these numbers individually. So the product of negative 3 and negative 6. So we know uh, the rule, two negatives, so negative times negative gives us a positive number. So we expect the number to be positive, so just multiply 3 and 6, this gives us positive 18. Now for this part, we're adding negative 2 and negative 7 together, we can distribute the signs. Negative 2, now plus and minus gives a minus, so negative 2 minus 7, this gives negative 9. So ask ourselves the question, how much bigger is 18 than negative 9. We simply take their difference. So 18 minus negative 9. So in this case, two negatives make a positive. So 18 plus 9. And simply do the math, we're going to get 27. So for this item, we have the answer 27. So choice D. For item 26, which expression has the largest value? We have four absolute values given. So let's deal with the first one. The absolute value of 7, that's simply 7. The absolute value of 7 minus 2, that's equal to saying the absolute value of 7 minus 2, that's 5. So the absolute value of 5, that's just 5. So we can already cross B out because B is smaller than uh, A. Now let's see here, 2 minus the absolute value of 7. We can write this as 2 minus absolute value of 7, that's 7. So 2 minus 7, well, negative 5, too small, so let's cancel C already. Now for D, what's the absolute value of negative 7? It's still 7. So 7 plus 2, ah, this is the largest. 7 plus 2, that gives us 9, so we can finally cross A. So we've successfully crossed A, B, C, so we can conclude that choice D here has the largest value. For item 27, what is the weight in kilograms of 26 sacks of sugar if 156 sacks weigh 12 kilograms? All right, so what we have to do, we can write an equation, 156, uh, let's just use S for sacks, is equal to 12 kilograms. So this is 12 kilograms. Now we want 26 sacks of sugar, so it's logical for us to multiply the factor 26 over 156 on both sides. Now what is 26 over 156? We can uh, actually get the lowest term, so 26 over 156. 156, surprisingly, is actually divisible by 26, so we can just simply use division. In fact, you can ask yourself how many times does 26 go into 256? Exactly 6 times. So 6 times 26 is indeed 156, so division gives us its 6, so cancelling, we get 1 and 6 respectively, so it's going to be 1 sixth. So going back to the item, we know that 26 over 156 is just 1 sixth. So, in fact, we can cancel this already. So, 26s. So, 26 sacks is equal to 12 kilograms. But this uh, 26 over 156, that's equivalent to 1 6. So, we're multiplying 1 6 over here. So, we can cancel 12 and the 6. That gives us 2 and 1. So, 26 sacks, that's equal to 2 kilograms. So, we have choice A over here. Now for item 28, what's the square root of 64 x raised to 7? Now recall how do we extract square roots. So anything that is a square in the inside, we can put it out. So it's 64 and then x raised to 7. Now 64 in itself is a perfect square. It's going to be 8 squared, and then which means we can put it out. And then if we, if we put it out, we're going to have, we're going to remove the power of 2. So it's going to be just 8. So we can say that this is equal to saying 8 square root of x raised to 7, and then we can see here that x raised to 7, I can write x raised to 7 as um, x raised to 6 times x. Now x raised to 6 is nice, x raised to 6 is x cubed, and then raised to 2 by properties of exponents, so we can multiply 3 and 2 to get 6, so that's how, you, that's how we know this is equal to x raised to 6, so this is x cubed squared, so I can put it outside, but if I put it outside, I will cancel uh, the power of 2. So 
I can make this equal to 8 times x cubed. And then square root of what remains inside is just the x. Now, x is not a perfect square anymore, so we can say that this is indeed uh, the simplified form. And this corresponds to choice D over here. So for 28, we have choice D. Hopefully, you guys learned something new from this video. And I'll see you in part 8. Bye-bye!